welcome to episode three of the Festival Flashback. Hopefully you've checked out episode one and two where we covered uh, Monsters of Rock 1996, Tusk Open Air 2011, so really fucking random, which is the point of this. And now we're going to do another one. Chosen from this style of festivals around the world and years dating back to the 80s up into 2018. If it was in the past, we're going to try and cover on this. The format's simple, you reach in and grab it. We talk through the bands and basically go, have we heard of them? What are they doing now? Did, would we have gone? Would we have gone? Blah, 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 basically. A festival analysis for something that is long in the past. We have a good old route around. Pick out a good one. Ooh. Grass Pop 1998. Grass Pop 1998. All right, let's see if we can get the lineup for this. Never been to a grass pot? Where have you this grass pot? Is it Europe? Belgium, isn't it? Belgium. Belgium. Yeah, never been to one. In 98, yeah, I wouldn't have... My first festival was 2003, and that was with my dad, so I wouldn't have been going to anything like this. God, look how... That's it. That's the lineup. Holy oh, shit. Wow. Okay, so one day. Oh, just a day thing. Right, so... Wow. It is in Diesel, Diesel Belgium. Grass pop metal meeting. It took place on one day only. On a Sunday. Sunday the 28th of June. Jesus, yeah, it's oh, wow. it's not much to go in there, folks. Mm. Not much at all. So we did the best we can, mm. but um, yeah, a lot of these bands are of a time. Um, Nineteen ninety eight as as well, fitting the year mm. perfectly when you look at it. Mm. So but, yeah, it looks like as well. It was effectively just one stage. It doesn't there's no there's no, no stage no, split on the poster. It's literally going straight up. Mm. No, 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 no. Look, there, there's a break. Oh, okay. No, um, there yeah. was there must have been two stages. Maybe three, three yeah, stages. right, there's three three names that are bigger than the others. So we're going to presume there's three stages. Involved, what yeah. they're called, we don't know. We're looking at the uh, history poster on uh, Grass Pop's official website for this, because we have no knowledge. So we'll start with what is the smallest stage, I guess, the lowest okay. down on the poster, Congress. Not heard of them? No. 1998 Misfits. So this is um, post Danzig. Yep. Post Danzig, which may be famous monsters, that kind of era. That'd be good time to see them. Good time, yeah. yeah. They've got propane. Yep, propane still oh, going strong still now. Going strong, yeah. Yep. Uh, Madball. Who've kind of made seen. a ca kind of made a return in the last uh, year or two. Uh, I think there was support for Limp Bizkit oh, in the okay. UK and stuff like that. Mm. And Primus. Never seen. I've never well, seen Primus, well, but they're a bucket list band for me as well. Um, never really cared for until actually the latest album, which I loved. Mm. I really, you know. Obviously, the thing is, they're an odd, odd band. Mm. So far, eclectic as fuck. But um, yeah, Primus, I would love to see live. And I imagine they were great in 1998 this. Really, yeah. really good. Like headlining what looks like that stage as well. Yeah, what looks yeah. like it. Only five bands. They're the biggest one in font for that. And then we dropped a smaller font again. Now, this one is fucking funny. Mm -hmm. Because I can't believe this band is... Shows how times change, right? The first band on this stage, at a very small festival, is Within Temptation. Yeah. Put it this way. Last time we saw them live, only time we saw them live, headlining was Bloodstock. headlining Bloodstock. Yeah. A couple of years ago. Two years ago, I think? I think it was. Yeah, mm. it wasn't last year. It was before. And now they're below. They're the first band oh, on God. this stage. Um, I think nowadays, this would be reversed. Yeah, looking at what's there. <clears throat> it would be yeah, reversed. Yeah, no, it would shuffle completely around. So yeah, yeah. Within Temptation would be top. Yeah. In fact, arguably, probably second to top of the big stage. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Yeah. And then In Flames. In Flames. Back, back then, I would have been... It's about right for them. I don't think, yeah. Joe, because I don't think their position has changed that much nowadays. No, there's always bands like that, though. They're just yeah. kind of sitting there, little. Comfortable middle, middle yeah. ground. Um, and the same really applies to Dimmy Ball Gear. Yeah, yeah, you I know? wouldn't put them any higher than that. I wouldn't. No. Um, you know, I, you could probably say they should be above Moonspell. Mm. But I think Moonspell are day. more popular in Europe than, say, the UK, whereas, like, Dream, Dimmy Ball Gear are more popular in the UK than Moonspell, yeah. that kind of thing. And then we actually have a UK band headlining that stage, Paradise Lost. Oh. Yeah. 1998 came up in our 1996 one as well. Probably a bit more chipper then. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Paradise Lost basically late 90s were a great time for them. It's pretty so, strong already. It's yeah, I think strong. across those two, it's really, really good. Then we've got the main, what will presumably be the main stage. Yeah. Now, I haven't got something to add when we get to this, but we'll get to it. Uh, Udo, Udo. Is that a guitarist from another band? I'm sure that's like. I know the name. I can't remember who it yeah, is. Yeah, I can picture it. I'm sure. Like, I'm, I don't know if I'm getting confused, confused with UFO, but 
Yeah. yeah, I think it's a tourist. Spiritual yeah. Beggars popping again. up again. Yeah. Yeah. So then we're doing the rounds. Still doing the rounds. I Sturf. I Sturf, 1998. Yeah. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Yeah, good fun. Obituary. Same with obituary. Yeah. Yeah. Good fun. Then we hit the, because uh, basically 1998, as we all know, was new metal time. Yeah. So we hit a section that is, was what you would call part of that class. We have Cold Chamber. Yep, soul Flay, Soul Soul Flay, Soul Flay, Soul Fly, Soul Fly, <laughs> and Death Tones. Oh, I'll be happy enough. I'll be there. Big bands <laughs> yeah. about this time. Um, in fact, actually, arguably, I think Cold Chamber will begin to go on a slide at this point. Mm. This might have been um, after Chamber Music and Dark Days, that kind of era. Yeah, because they weren't around for they had a very short. <laughs> yeah, very short, but they had a couple of albums, there. and it was really just um, the first self-titled album. It's the one that people remember. This was obviously Soulfly coming off about two years after the end of Sepultura. Yeah. So this was um might have been actually Soulfly's debut that got them on this bill, but Max's yeah. name would have got them high up straight yeah. away. Yeah. And then Deftones. Yeah. This was Deftones. Um, some of Deftones not strongest because they do great music nowadays. Yeah. But um, certainly popularity wise yeah. was huge, you know. And then we have Dream Theater. Now, the reason why I was like, oh, I want to mention this before, I'm they've spelt it wrong. Oh, because it's ER. ER, not like RE. The, it's like the American spelling, because they're American, aren't they? Yeah, it's yeah. Dream Theater with an ER, not theater. RE, yeah. yeah. It, look, it looks weird. It's like, is that the same Dream Theater? Or is yeah. this like a, a trivia band? band? Yeah, you know? Um, <laughs> not for me. That'd be my getting my beer in my meal. It beer. wouldn't have been for me at all. <laughs> no, same here. But this would have been, the headliner was Black Sabbath, and this would have been Black Sabbath, one of Black Sabbath's reunion shows. Mm. Um, you know, shortly, you know, Ozzy had obviously left many years before I was doing his own thing. And I think this was our first yeah. sort of set of reunion shows. So that would be would have been really, strong. Yeah. Would have been a strong, strong bill. And that's the thing. Overall, I think the bill's really, really good. Mm. I think it's a good, good show for one day. For just one day, yeah. though. You know, like, that isn't great. You know, great. 28th of June, Belgium, warm, sunny. I feel like the beer would be quite, there'd be quite a lot of beers going on as well. Because obviously, to come back home, you said beers. I the only thing we'd say we'd do differently was be, a, be on a Saturday instead of a Sunday. Mm. But that, I think mean, that's a UK thing more than anyone else. Yeah, but I think if you travel for it, you'd have to get time off. Around it anyway, so yep. I mean, going on that, it's like I don't know what the grass pops are looking like at the moment, but it's a lot bigger, mm, yeah. a lot yeah, fucking yeah. bigger. Well, we'll get to some of the uh, more the old, modern grass pop oh, stuff, but yeah, 1998 was a, was a banger. Mm. Probably of the three we've looked at so far, the one I'd say is the best, mm. best one, certainly more to our Definitely. taste. Yeah, yeah, mm. but yeah there you go. Make sure you check out the other episodes, check out the other content on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button.